The teachers say the school district is forcing them to lie as the students transition without the parents knowing. Meanwhile, trans activists say depending on the situation at home, this can be in the best interest for the student. This case is about the right to speak freely, the right to exercise my own religious beliefs. Elizabeth Mirabelli is one of the teachers involved in the lawsuit. She says she has two trans students in her classroom at Rincon Middle School this year. They came in with one name and one preference, and then midway through the, the year, that information was changed in the school records without the parents' consent. Under the district's parental exclusion policy, teachers can't reveal this information to parents. Once a student makes known uh, that they have a preferred name or preferred pronoun that's inconsistent with their, their biological sex, only people with a legitimate need to know that information um, can be told. The policy excludes parents from having a legitimate need to know. Groups have advocated for policies like this to ensure kids who are transitioning or questioning their gender can do so without interference or potential punishment at home. I am the parent of a trans youth who started his transition over a decade ago. Kathy Molig founded Trans Family Support Services. She says only one third of trans students come from supportive households, which is why she feels this policy is so important. And having a space at school where you can feel safe and seen for who you are is life-saving measures, and that's why California has the laws that we have in place. Meanwhile, the teachers in this lawsuit are hoping the California Board of Education will rethink the policy.